Greetings, this is Father Rolf Hammerlinge from Dorsten, Germany. Today is September the 29th, 2024. And the topic of this video is increasing draw distance in games. Example, Gothic Classic Series and Gothic 3. This is um, the game Gothic Classic released in 2001 and you see that you don't see very much the draw distance is very small and uh, you can change that using the options or settings in graphics graphic settings you can increase the visual range for example to 100% and you already see a bit more and even to 300% using the slider there's another option, but that's not the topic now. And uh, you can see quite a bit. So, this is the first example, Gothic 1 Classic from 2001. Now the second example, Gothic 2 Gold Classic from 2005. And again, you don't see very much, not even your own character, but it, it's here. And again, you go to the options, visual settings, and they have, you, have, you have two sliders range of view and object fan. And first, I increase the range of view directly to 300%. So, and um, take a note of this tree. And now I increase object fading to 300%. There's another tree here. So, those are the possibilities for the first two Gothic Classic games. And this is Gothic 3 from 2006. The draw distance is quite good, but you see there uh, are some buried textures and um, that doesn't look well, at least quite bad, but if you run, you it it's, uh, seems even worse. So this uh, blurry aspects and popping up of items. So again, you go to the options. And you don't see anything to increase the draw distance. No, nothing here. What can we do here? For Gothic 3, you have to edit the Gothic 3 INI, it's uh, located in the installation folder of Gothic 3 and um, it's called GE3.INI. I use uh, Notepad 3 because it has, has a syntax highlighting, it's easier to read. And there you have an entry option.sliders 
with several values for distance um, in um, vegetation object details and there you can adjust uh, the, those values according to your um, personal interests and um, there are also preset values for the file user options in e, with, um where you can choose whether the very high or the low preset is uh, chosen in the game. And this uh, user options in e is uh, in the doc in your document folder Gothic Free. And this is the user options, and there you have uh, the values for um, uh, high or very high settings. And um, when you did that, you can start or must start um, Gothic Three again. So this is Gothic Three with high or very high preset. And you see the blurry parts are gone, everything is crisp. And um, so you have, um, generally speaking, three possibilities to uh, increase the draw distance in games first. And the best uh, way is um, to search in the options or settings menu for a draw distance or vis visual range or whatever. Um, the second possibility is um, to see if there is an any file that you can edit with um, parameters of uh, for distance and um, then some games uh, do not allow uh, the to to change the view distance at all, but uh, there are uh, fans uh, who uh, write patches, mods, uh, especially for this purpose. And um, uh, if you are brave enough to use third-party software, then you can um, try your luck and um, install an, a mod or a patch to uh, increase um, draw distance in a specific game. So that's uh, a similar result as in um, my video about Field of View, where I spoke about FOV sliders. And uh, I would expect that a developer uh, at least offers the possibility, possibility to um, change uh, parameters, settings, like uh, draw distance, visual range uh, in the game itself.